Bill from Bill's Brews. Welcome to episode number four of our video series about home brewing. This episode is a little bit different as we are not going to be talking about ideas for brewing today, but a little bit about keeping your pets safe around the brewing process and some of the ingredients we use. My wife and I have two senior rescue dogs that sometimes foster others. Although I've been home brewing a few years, I never knew until recently reading a few articles that hops can be extremely deadly to dogs. You've probably seen other dog owners giving their dogs a taste of beer, or may have even done so yourself. Well, just stop. It's not so much the alcohol as it is the hops in the beer. The hops used to make beer can potentially poison your dog or cat. Hops is a member of the Cannabacea family. Yep, that's right. It's in the same category as cannabis or pot. Cone-like flowers found on the female plant have a bitter flavor when dried and are traditionally incorporated into the beer making process, both commercially and by home brewers. Hops are also occasionally used as a calming agent in herbal teas and supplements. Although the exact mechanism of toxicity has not been identified, all versions of the plant appear to be toxic to dogs, sometimes even in very small doses. Instances of poisoning have become more common with the increased popularity of home brewing. Hops can be dangerous both before and after used in the brewing process. Used hop residue that is properly disposed of or left to decompose on a compost heap are easy and tempting targets for dogs. Please avoid leaving any around where your dog or someone else's may access it. Malignant hypothermia is the most common symptom of toxicity that is indicated by a rapid increase in body temperature, heavy breathing, and restlessness. Normal body temperature for a dog is 102 degrees Fahrenheit, but with hops toxicity, it can quickly rise to above 105 or even 108 degrees Fahrenheit. With large doses, vomiting and abdominal pain will also be present, and dogs may have seizures. Without treatment, death can occur in as little as six hours after ingestion. Reeds that are most susceptible to malignant hypothermia are thought to be more prone to severe hops toxicity, although the problem could occur in any dog. I created this video as a kind of public service message to all home brewers and dog owners. Here are some suggestions to keep having fun brewing and keeping your pets safe while doing so. One. Keep your supply of hops stored where your pet cannot access them, either in a refrigerator or sealed container of some sort on a high shelf. Remember, a dog can easily chew through a hops bag or even a Tupperware container left where they can get to it. Two, if you drop some hops on the floor during your brewing session, pick them up immediately. I know my dogs love to hang around while I'm brewing, and it only takes a second for them to grab something interesting off the floor. Three, clean up promptly after your brew session. That means right away, not an hour from now. Just do it now. Four, dispose of used hops, trub, and even paper towels you may have used in the cleanup process that have hops residue on them. I generally place everything in a plastic bag and deposit in my outdoor trash container that is tightly sealed and closed. Five, keep composting your spent grains, but refrain from composting used hops, trub, or anything else that may contain hops. Remember, your dog can easily find that and get in trouble. Six, never feed your dog beer, no matter how much you know he likes it. This goes for any herbal teas or other things that may contain hops as well. Hope you have found this video to be helpful and informative. I love home brewing and love keeping our senior old boys healthy and safe. I know you do too. I've posted some links to articles below with more details about this. I've also posted a link to our Facebook group, Bill's Brews, where you can find more information about this and other home brewing topics. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please, absolutely please make sure you go to Facebook and join our Facebook group. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks and cheers. Bye-bye.